Hi family and welcome to this channel. This is Soja Bugo Studios. It is lovely to meet you here once again. Today's sermon is from Pastor Chris and the sermon is entitled Put Your Enemy in Coffin. This is an, an odd title, isn't it? I know it is very odd, but um, you are going to enjoy the sermon as usual, right? So without wasting time, after the sermon, then we shall explain deeper into what Pastor Chris said. So without wasting time, family, let's get into the sermon. Is that a blessing is at work in you? The Bible says you are called to inherit a blessing. You are called to inherit a blessing. You cannot be cursed. There are Christians who are going around asking for other people to lift the curses off of them. How can lift a curse off of you? From who? Hey. Even Balaam of the Old Testament had enough sense to say there is no enchantment against Jacob. He says you cannot curse Israel. That's Israel of the Old. What about Israel of the New? Hallelujah. Glory to God. No enchantment. <laughs> Hallelujah. Look at this. Is it possible? They said somebody, somebody in some village or somewhere, somebody that got some juju thing or whatever it was, and they were doing something against you. Against you? Against you? What? Against you? So family, let us make this clear. Christians, we cannot be cursed, right? There's no enchantment that will fight against you. If we renew our mind and know our place in Christ, there's no enchantment that will be formed against you or work. Let's listen to the rest of the sermon. Listen. For us Christians, we don't even have to pray about it. We don't have to pray about that one. Oh God, protect me from my, from my enemies. What? <laughs> you don't need to pray like that. See, leave that for the guy that's ignorant. Don't you know that the demons know who you are? There's a mark on you. You are branded for God. Hallelujah. You're branded for God. Say, I know who I am. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. There's no enchantment against a child of God. It doesn't work. Say that someone is, someone is working something because he wants to take your position at work. Who cares? Who cares? He's wasting his time. Who cares? Who cares? Now, an ignorant Christian, you know what an ignorant Christian is going to do? Huh? Then he goes, Father, in the name of Jesus, any person, any person that is fighting me, any person that is trying to take my job, any person in the name of Jesus, you're wasting your time. Save your breath. You don't need that. I put my enemies into a coffin. I catch my enemy. I tie him. I bury him. Is that Christianity? That is for the ignorant Christian. A real Christian doesn't pray like that. If you know your, your Bible, you don't, you don't say those things. It's a waste of time. You're fighting. A defeated enemy. You don't waste 
waste your time with that. You're not practicing Christianity when you're doing that. You're wasting time. Say, look, you are in Christ. You are in Christ. Do you remember the words of Jesus? I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Look, if any man be Christ in you, the hope of glory, you are in Christ. Christ is in you. Glory. We trust Whoa. that you have been blessed by the. Whoa. Isaac. Whoa, family. <laughs> I believe you've been blessed by this amazing sermon from Pastor Chris once again. Uh, this sermon is so deep. It is encouraging. It is also biblical fact. You see, as Christians, we shouldn't be afraid of any enchantment, any curses, or an enemy. Because the enemy has already been defeated. Yours is to just proclaim what God has done and we shall have evidence of it. So family, let us listen to the sermon once again. It will really, really boost our faith. The Bible says that for the, when we listen and listen to the word of God, that's where we gain faith. So there's a need for us to uh, listen to the sermons or read the word of God daily to renew our mind. So family, God bless you for listening to the sermon. Uh, I will meet you in the next one. Bye-bye.